Audi Q3 came up with marketers, spurred on by market interest in the so-called compact crossovers. What we saw in them is unclear. However, 17 cm of ground clearance, the Haldex clutch in the transmission, the inconvenient joystick of the intricate MMI system and turbo engines created a small commercial miracle, the Q3 collected a hefty box office. The engines of the crossover are exclusively turbocharged. At first, a pair of 2.0 DDI diesels and a pair of 2.0 DFSI in different boosts. Later they were joined by 1.4 TFSI. It was more difficult with the boxes, the stalemate was due to the choice between the mechanics and the robot Estronic with dual clutch. In the urban jungle, where people who can pay for an Audi live, both boxes are not the best option. However, the 7-speed robot, Reed DSG, whose two clutches float in oil, has not shown itself to be a weakling. This box is designed for up to 600 newton meters, so with a regular oil change every 60,000 km, it takes a long time. With the problems of wagon gasoline turbo engines, economical and dynamic, they are well known in the services. Their main scourge is increased, up to 1.5 liters per 1,000 km, oil consumption. The reasons traditionally can be different. In most cases, the piston group is the culprit. Soot on pistons, on valves, failures of NOx sensors, catalyst and oxygen sensors, the words of one song. It happens that the turbine drives the oil or leaves through the seals. Petrol engines require regular and professional monitoring by the dealer, who, among other things, is able to quickly eliminate software failures. So we would recommend the 2.0 DDI diesel more readily. Diesels are not only more economical, but also more fun to drive. Getting a bunch of transmission problems on a car with 100,000 miles is hard. Haldex is rarely naughty. Behind the steering wheel, too, mass dirty tricks up to 150,000 km were not noticed, although you have to hear about failures of the power steering pump and right off of the rack and pinion mechanism on the forums. There are, in principle, no special problems with the suspension. Unless especially economical owners can be upset by the cost of a number of seemingly simple components marked VW. For example, front brake pads. And yet, the Q3 is rightfully considered the most budget model in terms of components among the entire Audi family. In other words, if you are ready to slightly, just a little, overpay for premium, then in this case it is quite justified. After all, in addition to a richly equipped interior, you will also receive a strong body, complainants for the paintwork and corrosion resistance of which is almost impossible to find. But disappointments here should be expected rather from electronics. The car quickly ages with brains, which is often evidenced by failures of the engine control unit or, for example, glitches that happen to the start-stop system every now and then. Owners are usually forced to treat such ailments at dealers, they are with firmware for you, which costs a pretty penny. The electrician is perhaps the most vulnerable link here, and it's a shame that prevention in the event of failed sensors or software failures does not play a role. Summing up a logical conclusion. We can state that a car with moderate mileage, without collective farming and other home chip tuning, with a transparent service history, will certainly not ruin you. Before buying, it remains to check the robot and the timing chain tension. If the order, then you can take. Surprisingly, the cost of maintaining the Audi Q3, a fairly expensive car, is, as they say, within the limits. The latest versions of 2.0-liter gasoline engines are noticeably more reliable than the earlier ones, which is why rings and chains no longer fly like consumables. Chain stretch is not as common as oil burn. But replacing the timing drive is expensive, with work over 20,000 Ukrainian hryvni. Attachment belt can be changed for 2,000 Ukrainian hryvni. And most importantly, monitor overheating. On gasoline engines, it provokes problems with the piston group and oil burner. The only thin point of the transmission remains the DSG-7, Estronic. And here, in order not to think about repairing the valve body for as long as possible, it is important to change the oil with clutch wear products every 50 to 60,000 km. By premium standards, this is not expensive here. There are not so many complaints about the Q3 chassis. The rear silent blocks may crack, whose margin of safety is not so bad. However, it is better to change the levers as an assembly, without exchanging for repressing. Ball joints are replaced separately, they are bolted. Breakup bolts can become a problem at the back if they are not sanitized at least once a year. For the most part, owners of Q3 are deprived of body troubles. On the forums, the only story about two large radiator grill cells became the most noticeable. Pebbles and other road debris quickly clog and even injure radiators. The first number is the failure of the air conditioner radiator, and then problems with cooling the engine and gearbox will begin. 
The way out is simple, set the grid as early as possible. A lot of negativity is associated both with the failure of the start-stop system, and with all onboard electronics, the unreasonable inclusion of sensors, the vagaries of the ignition and the climate system. A separate unpleasant topic is gas discharge lamps emitting a breath. They come from different manufacturers, but changing xenon on both sides in any case will cost several hundred euros.